When Alice lay back on the velvet chair, her mind fell into a deep state of trance, and there she was, inside the rabbit hole, her feet dangling and her arms shaking. Approaching the end, she crashes below, on a pile of scraps that break her fall. Lying on the ground, she studies the room. Oh, so uncanny, but so familiar. Footsteps approach a cautious march. The white rabbit walks with great elegance. She comes to Alice and crouches over. She wonders if she remembers her friend. Alice is perturbed. Who's this odd rabbit? I feel I've seen her, but I don't know where. The rabbit extends her arms to Alice. Come with me, she says. You must come for tea. In the fields nearby, the party's at rest. The Mad Hatter sits while the Dormouse sleeps. The White Rabbit comes, announcing the news. Alice is back, friends. Alice has returned. The Hatter pounces, joy overflowing. He rushes across to embrace his friend. Alice, remember, it's me, the Hatter. Suddenly, memories pour into her mind. All these years ago, at the tea party, Alice and her friends, drinking and feasting, the hatter with whom they'd laughed until dawn, the rabbit who'd give the wisest advice. And of course, who could forget the dormouse? Her sleepiest friend, but always present. United again, the tea party friends enjoy once again a cuppa with cakes. A toast to Alice, our friend has returned. Let the cards fly away and pour the tea. Such earthly delights laid out on the cloth. The friends laugh away, the day has no end. Engrossed by all the drinking and feasting, the tea party is oblivious to a gazer above observing the fate. A spy for the queen, he's out to report. Back at her palace, the Red Queen is sat, proudly on her throne, admiring her might. It's time to consult the cards, she ponders, as she pulls from her skirt a heart-shaped purse. She opens it up and pulls from inside a single card that raises suspicion, a concerning omen of troubles to come that will cause jealousy and threaten her pride. What is the meaning of this? She wonders. When a visitor comes bearing grave news, my queen, he declares, I've come to announce that Alice has returned to Wonderland. But my queen, he says, I must inform you that she is wearing the same skirt as you. How dare she dress in the same skirt as me? I must find Alice, I'll crush her myself. She storms with great fury out of her palace. Back at the party, the unknowing friends are laughing away till a warning comes. Beware, my friends, beware, the angel shouts. The Red Queen is near, she comes for Alice. The Queen is angry and after her skirt. Take Alice away, she must return home. Without hesitation, the group rushes to make Alice's bed and send her back. Away goes the tea, away go the cakes. Tea time is over, Alice must be saved. Alice is confused, why must she escape? Till Rabbit pulls her away to the bed. She drags her along and the Hatter shouts, Bring her over, she must return at once. Alice kneels down and rolls under the cover. Her friends tuck her in and sit by her side. Rabbit caresses her delicate face. She watches her friend with love and with care. Alice's eyes begin to feel heavy. Her sleep takes over and carries her away. A wide smile draws across her sweet face. The lasting memory of tea time with friends. <laughs>